Horror games provide an amazing thrill. Even with the blood and gore, jump scares, and outright terror, there's an appeal that lies beyond your typical hack and slash or shooter. That being said, there are times where the horror genre goes a bit too far, and we're not talking in a subjective way either. Some of the things in some horror games are just plain wrong to look at. So why not look at five examples of the same and further risk your sanity? Let's take a look. Outlast, what happens at Mount Massive? Miles Upshur's stay at Mount Massive isn't the most ideal. With deranged inmates and the Wall Rider roaming around, you'd think you could ignore many of the atrocities that you just happen to come across. However, at one point, you'll actually find an inmate committing obscene acts to a corpse. You would hope that it isn't necrophilia until you see the man is wearing no pants. Yeah, no thanks. Dead Space 2, The Eyes Have It. Dead Space 2 pushed the boundaries of the first game's horror in numerous ways with increased blood and gore, necromorph kids, and so on. It's most memorable for a scene where Isaac must operate on his eye with a rather dangerous looking drill device. Mess that scene up and you're treated to what seems to be a cross between a lobotomy and amateur drill work. Definitely not recommended for people who have a thing about eyes. Fear 2, The End. Alma has never really been all that sane, having possessed psychic powers from birth and being forced into captivity for her inability to control them. But at one point, do you stop feeling sorry for her or just go, what the F? At the end of Fear 2, as Michael Beckett battles illusionary demons in his mind, Alma is busy trying to, well, make a child with Beckett's immobile body. Do we need to say any more and can it get any worse? Sanitarium, Hide and Seek. Yes it can. Just because Sanitarium is an old school adventure game doesn't mean it didn't possess some inherently messed up concepts. The plot itself is twisted and outright demented with your character possessing amnesia and waking up somewhere in a realm full of oddities. So when you're asked to play hide and seek, things don't seem all that bad. Until, you know, you have to dig up the corpse of a little girl who's apparently really dedicated to this game. Her brother wheeling her skeleton around afterwards certainly doesn't help matters. Silent Hill 2, Pyramid Head. To this day, we still can't decipher what's happening in this scene. In Silent Hill 2, James Sunderland is embroiled in the disturbed town seeking his wife whom he thought was dead. It quickly becomes apparent that the loonies are running the asylum. In one scene, however, James comes across Pyramid Head contorting, grinding against, and tossing the bodies of mannequins around. How do you even begin to process that? We don't know, and honestly, this is one mystery that we really wish would just fade away forever. What are your instances where horror games went too far? Let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.